what's the uh, takeaway from your your what, five drives today? Uh, just uh, you know, there's a lot of little little details that we need to get fixed up uh, before you know we get back out there. So just um, you know, there's a lot of good things. You know, uh, to move the ball well, but it's just the little details I think we need to fix up. What's your message to your guys when drops are, are an issue? Uh, it's I mean. You know, I got to put the ball in a better place, you know, help them out, uh, give them an easier play to make. And, you know, it's just uh, there's not really a real coaching point for drops, you know, whether a guy does something wrong, sometimes they just drop it. Was the pass to Kendrick on fourth down, was that tipped at the line or did uh, it go off? Slant? Yeah. No, I, I don't think it was, maybe. But How about the uh, running game seemed to be going pretty well today, especially with Alfred? Yeah, yeah, Al, uh, yeah, he carried the ball well. I uh, have only been here about a week or so, and I thought the O-line blocked great too, both run and pass. I mean, those guys gave him plenty of time, barely got touched today, so that makes everything a lot easier. Can you tell, I mean, Alfred has kind of a, a track record in the NFL. Does he carry himself like he's kind of done this before? He does, yeah, very professional, uh, very detailed, you know, just little things. Uh, he's always asking questions on, how, uh, how I see something compared to how he sees it. And, you know, I like that. Jimmy, you made it through these three exhibitions pretty much without getting sacked for the most part. It is, uh, was that like part of the line, part of the play calling, just your pocket presence? How, how do you attribute that? I think the line's been playing great. Yeah. You know, those guys up front, we got a good group, uh, whoever's rotating in there. I think you know, it's, a, it's a deep group and a group that works well together. And it's just, I mean, it's showing out there. Those guys are give me a lot of time and it, it makes everything a lot easier. You know, we need to capitalize on that. Is it good for you to go through that routine of going through a half time and then coming back out and starting the second half? Definitely, yeah, definitely. It's, uh, you know, this is our dress rehearsal for, for week one. So, you know, all the little things, talking at halftime with your coaches, uh, getting with your players and everything and how fast it goes, it's good to uh, you know, get one under the belt. On the, it seemed uh, like the offensive line got more space for your running backs today. What changed? in the last two weeks? Uh, I don't know. You know, uh, I thought they did a good job on the line of scrimmage, you know, moving it forward. That's a big part of running the ball is if they win the line of scrimmage, you should be able to gain yards no matter what. So I thought they did a great job of that, just working together, working with the tight ends, uh, the fullbacks. I think everyone, you know, played an important role. Did you go back on the bench and check out those two balls that were almost intercepted by their linebacker? Yeah. Could... Yeah, that was uh, – I mean, their defense is, is like that. They're, they're looking at your eyes. So if, if you look at one spot too long or, mm -hmm. or don't move certain guys the right way, it's, uh, it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. So the red zone, it gets tight down there. How much has your comfort level with Pierre grown these last few weeks? Uh, I think off training camp, you know, uh, every, every week or so, we keep seem to be getting more connected, more on the same page. And he's, uh, he's a gamer, man. He comes out here, he's ready to roll. And, you know, uh, doesn't say a whole bunch on the sideline, but you know he's ready to roll, and I like that.